Hello investors, good early morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. This is the morning stir, market and resource rundown for Friday, January 11th. March March to test the highs. The broad market in the S&P rallied another 11 points to 1467, up 0.8% on Thursday. The higher low and higher highs sets up for an attack on the 1470 peak above as the next resistance. Tuesday's lows at 1446 act as support, then 1425 is the major pivot below. Dow futures added 80 points to close at 13,405 as the earnings season really starts to kick into gear. Blue chips have resistance at 13,600 above with 13,200 the support to keep an eye on. The E-mini Nasdaq finished up 16 at the peak from last week at 2738. Tech shares have the next resistance above at 2775. Crude oil ventured above $95 yesterday to finish at $94.32, up 75 cents. This action marks a 10% run in the last 30 days in oil. The euro currency also jumped big yesterday, up nearly 200 ticks to, to 132.60 for 1.5% gain. The dollar loss was the big story of the day as it dropped 1% to 79.84 and back below the 80 pivot. 30-year bonds dropped as well, down 23 ticks to 144 and three quarters on some renewed selling. Gold broke out to the upside with a technical trading wedge upward move for a $17 gain to $16.73 on Thursday. Silver finished up 56 cents at 30.81 with a big technical resistance at 31.50 above to prove a bottom base. So with stocks back near the highs and the dollar turning lower yesterday, how are things setting up this Friday morning to start the new day and to end the week? Well, the euro currency, which blasted above the 132 pivot yesterday, sits quiet this morning, up six ticks at 132.65, as the dollar, which is also a bit positive, sits at 79.90. Long treasury bond futures are up five ticks, just above 145. Crude oil seeing some profit taking this morning at 93.60, 93.60 down 70 cents. The upside resistance is now at $97 a barrel, with a $91 the support level. So after a technical breakout yesterday, gold is down $9 at 1669. The, the wedge pattern that had formed targets 1720 on follow through. Silver is also down, down 27 cents at 3065 an ounce. So as we get started on this Friday morning, the E-mini S&P stock futures are steady right now, and uh, we're down one at 1466 in the E-mini S&P. Dow futures are down nine points, and Nasdaq futures are one point higher with more than an hour to go before the stock market open. So to wrap up all this current action to, for the Friday morning, the euro currency is up six ticks, the dollar is below 80 at 79.90, with bonds up five ticks as well. Crude oil is down 70 cents to 93.60, with gold down $9 at 1669. So after another push to new relative highs yesterday, the E-mini S&P sits at 1466, down one point. The Dow futures here at the CME Group are nine points lower, right at the 13,400 level. Please visit our sponsors at MorningMarketStir.com for more information on commodities, futures, and options. I will see you early Monday morning for the Stir in the Markets to set up your trading day. From the CME Group trading floor, it all comes back to commodities.